Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more FTL in our first foray into the multiverse mod. We have a reasonable arsenal of weapons for this stage of the game, mostly good for burning out enemy ships. It's been pretty good for the last couple sectors, it'll probably be pretty good for the next couple of sectors, but uh, end game material? No, probably not. We're gonna be looking for some upgrades pretty soon. I'm a little bit concerned that our defenses are lacking. We have terrible evasion chance and only one bar of shields, no cloaking. We're going to be taking a lot of damage in the near future, and if we don't fix that soon, we'll be in trouble. Now, you might think I'd be tempted to go to the NG sector since there's less likelihood of combat, but the, actually the opposite is true. I want to go to the Coalition Frontier and fight ships. Reason being, with the Scrap Recovery Arm and the ability to burn people out of their ships and get extra salvage, uh, I think that our potential of ramping up in Scrap is higher with combat than in a friendly sector and hoping for good events. I could be wrong on that, but that is sort of the hypothesis. It's a bit of a high-risk, high-reward play, though. Either it works, or we die. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Welcome. I hope you intended to pay the fee. All right! You're a Federation ship! Arm the guns! Yeah, all right. Fine. We can fight. Repair bots! Help me! Thank you! All right. So, let's see. Got a couple of nasty-looking guns. You're a crystal ship. I do think there's a very high likelihood that um, enemy ships that we find when we first enter into a sector are more likely to have orbital support. So, I'm a little bit wary of actually fighting and killing these guys. Um... Let's try to knock out those shields the best we can. Okay, he's hitting me with what looks like some sort of a crystal flak. Is that what that is? Ouch! All right, yeah, it seems that may be exactly what it is. Uh, we should have timed this better with the particle beam, because it turns out we weren't able to actually knock down the shields at any meaningful capacity. Let's go ahead and burn these down. Now we'll use the beam, hit all five of these rooms, set some fires, knock out those weapons if you please. Thank you. And hopefully there are some fires on there that are really going to slow them down. As long as this crystal flak doesn't exist, I'm not feeling too worried about him. We should be okay. Let's keep trying to stun some of those shields and prevent him from getting a lot of his shield bars back. And he is indeed getting some backup, because it looks like there were fires in the shields, because it just took hole damage, and once he takes a certain amount of hole damage, well, lo and behold, he asks for help. I don't think we have time to cook these guys anymore, so I think we need to go ahead and try to kill him. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Just go for as much damage as possible, knock out those weapon systems, do DPS. That's all we're looking for at this point. I don't want to contend with this AB, uh, ASB system for too long. Because that can obviously hurt. <sighs> hurt for a lot of reasons. Keep trying to knock out those shields, make sure that that's not a concern. They usually cause breaches and do a lot of hull damage. That's the big thing. He missed! Well, thank God for that. Alright, ship's down. We should be able to get the heck out of here. And we only took a couple of damage. Not too bad. 29 scrap. Alright, we could do something on board the ship. I feel like we might as well do a salvage mission. We got 17 more. Okay. That's probably enough to get an extra bar of shields, which helps with some of my concerns. And it would use up all the power for my repair bots, but if we get one extra power bar, we can keep doing some repairs, and it kind of splits the difference. We prevent some damage, and we heal from some damage. That's got to be good, right? Okay, all repaired. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, we'll probably stick to the nebula a bit. More jumps just means more opportunities to uh, evade the rebels for a bit. Pirate station. We could trade or attack. Well, if this is anything like Captain's Edition, the stations are actually really dangerous, but I see... It looks like a pike beam and some laser here. I don't see any others. This might, actually might be an easy kill. Let's attack the pirates. They're pirates after all. I don't feel that bad about it. Also, we can repair a small amount of hull damage. And lo and behold, we still have enough power for everything I want. You have drones, right. But not attack drones. So we should be fine then, right? Okay, well, I like seeing some of that. Let's go ahead and wait for a particle beam. So we'll just go ahead and do one big volley. And this only fired one shot. You literally can't hurt me, can you? <laughs> Easy mode! We'll just sit here and just farm out some XP and stuff. It'll be great. Knock out the oxygen, knock out those shields. And we'll try to hit your weapons and doors and whatever else. Actually, you know what? No, what we want to do is just hit as many rooms as possible with fire. Lots of fire damage. Of course, the shields came back just in time, but oh well. Unfortunately, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. He kept repairing the shields too fast, and I had to keep bursting it down, and that just eventually led to his death. Still, 29 more scrap. All right, not bad. Do we want to go to a rock store? Probably not, much as I do enjoy rock and roll. 32 scrap is not a lot to work with. Coalition ships. Okay. Uh, repair bots, we can do a small amount of repairs there. He has teleporting. That's no good. Um, where are you going? He is going to my sensor systems. Honestly, you stay there. I hate to lose some hull damage as he knocks out a subsystem, but if he's not fighting me, that's kind of preferable. And if we can set some fires on his ships, he won't be able to react to that very quickly. And that's probably good enough for me. So let's just go ahead and try to knock out his shields, followed by, let's say, the oxygen system or something. A little damage there. There we go. Okay, we've lost our sensors. 
He might run away pretty soon. We did not knock out his shields to any meaningful amount. Let's see if we can knock this out. There we go. Particle Beam. Let's see if we can hit his... Uh, I'm going to say piloting weapons and shields. So we can stop getting stunned. And if he set fires, I think he'll run away. Yep, he did run away. I just heard the sound. Oh, no, he didn't run away. Never mind. I thought I heard the sound, but I was wrong. He's attacking my orchid. Well, the sooner I can send some friends over here. He only retreated one of his people, I think. There were probably two. Because it's a two-sized room, so I have to sort of assume that that's all he was sending. All right. Well, this is fine. Let's just keep those shields down. Keep setting fires. As long as he has no oxygen, he is going to cook. And they did. Okay, good. 38 more scrap for me. Excellent. Overall, we only took a couple damage out of that, so that's not too bad. There's a distress beacon. We don't have to go there immediately. Let's go this way. We'll get there soon enough, don't you worry. Oh, crud, an ion storm. I didn't even check that. Now we don't have a lot of power bars. That's a problem. Uh, okay, hang on. Um, uh, I can't use repair bots. We don't have enough power as is. Um, I don't have a lot of power to work with. Now, the good news is neither do they. But if I can't find a way to knock out his weapons quick, then we might take a load of damage here because I have no engines, no oxygen, and no shields, really. And he's got missiles. Great. Oh, God! Of course he hit the weapon system. And, of course, with an orchid, too, that can't put out fires. Okay, we need to go deal with this ASAP. Uh, I need to try to burst down his weapons as fast as we can. There we go. We knocked that out. Uh, Fees, run away! You vulnerable little flower, you! All right, you're okay so far. You're not going to be able to heal anytime soon. Get in here and repair this as quick as you can. He's going to divert more power to his shield since he has extra power bars to work with, but that's fine as long as he's not using many of his weapons. I'm okay with it, sort of. I need to get my own particle beam back up and running as quick as we can. Everyone get back to your positions. Get the particle gun back up and running. I'm worried about the oxygen. I need to knock out his weapons consistently enough that I can turn my own oxygen on. In fact, we can do that now and just kind of float this never well he's got a missile shields won't do good against missiles anyway i don't think cooking this guy is going to be a good option to be honest uh but we'll see gosh dang it he keeps repairing his weapons just fast enough and with the cloak he's got a very good chance of being able to fire this off now he's got two weapons he's got full repairs okay pew pew got it hang on he's trying to run away no we're not gonna let you do that um oxygen cloak i have to hit his engines all right let's hit his engines and his shields and that at least hopefully reduces his capabilities a bit. I want to hit the oxygen and the cloak, but if we set a bunch of fires, there's a chance we can walk away from this looking pretty good. If we did not, well, then he's going to fire at me pretty soon. Let's just keep an eye on those weapons. Whenever I feel like I'm in danger, we just go ahead and burn him. All right, we weren't able to cook him. He got his weapons back online, and I just wasn't willing to take the risk. 29 more scrap. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and heal our folks up, because obviously that was a little bit bloody. But we came out of that pretty well, considering I was working at half power. And let's get out of here. Do we want to go to the Distress Beacon next? Yes, I feel like we might as well. Let's see if there's anyone we can help. Some damsels in distress, so to speak. Civilian ship, space gas, too thick, oxygen system damage. We can rescue them. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and rescue them. A malfun- What the heck are you? Malfunctioning in the life support systems accompanied by a breach in the hull led to the nebulous gases being sucked into the civilian vessel. One survivor. Are you a leech? You sure as heck look like a leech to me. Okay. What do leeches do? That's a new race. Drains power bars from enemy systems if they're standing in it. Okay, so it's a good boarding party, I guess. Regenerates health when not taking damage, but only has 75 health and gets stunned longer. Doesn't seem like a great person, but all right. We already know who we're going to be naming this after. It is another paradox. There you go. Thank you for your support. Okay. I'm going to have you in the doors for now, but you're also kind of just flexible to go and deal with some boarding parties here and there as needed. In the meantime, the extra doors just makes it a little bit easier for me to control where my enemies are going to turn up. Okay. 104 scrap, huh? Seems like a pretty decent amount. If we can find a good store somewhere, we might be able to buy something pretty soon. Another coalition ship. All right. So it doesn't seem that bad. Uh, we'll do a small amount of repairs. We got a couple of guns. I don't know what this is. Is that one of those stunning things? We looked at a stunning laser before, I think. Or maybe it was in one of my test games. Either way, if you don't have a boarding party, this should be a relatively easy fight for me. Let's uh, just go ahead and stun down your shields. Try to knock out your weapons and your shields. There we go. We set some fires. Okay, cool. Knock out shields one more time. Then we'll hit your oxygen system, and we will allow you... To cook. Rocks, of course, and crystals can put out fires pretty quickly. But not when there are this many fires and your oxygen systems are down. So you're going to be in for a load of hurt. 
Oh, sorry, little rock buddy, but I don't think you're gonna repair that oxygen in time. Goodbye, 40 more scrap for me. Not bad. Hey, a store, crystal store. That could be fun. Uh, let me think for a second. Crystal store, how do we get to the exit? We could go directly down here, but I got a lot of jumps to go. There's only two ways to get to the exit. We could hit up the store kind of last if I go... Well, let's see, can I loop around this way? Yeah, we could kind of loop around this way, get up to the store, and then still get to the exit in time, I think. That sort of works for me. We can stack up a load of scrap, and if they have nothing I want, well, fine. We'll just go ahead and invest very heavily in things like the shields. Somebody is jumping in nearby. Don't even bother trying to run. Who said I was trying to run? You should be the one who's trying to run, you fool. He's going to teleport across over here. I have slightly better doors, and that helps, but it's still not great. This is kind of a weird ship layout. Can't say that I like it that much. Hmm. All right. Let's see if we can vent you into space. I'm really not sure why you would have decided to go into this room, but that's what you wanted to do. You've got... Was that a freaking... Was that a coffee bean you just sent at me? It's a seed of some sort. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's try to knock out his shields a little bit. And then let's try to burn down those shields even further. And maybe we can hit something like his oxygen system now. Okay, fail. But let's go ahead and use the particle beam to try and hit as many systems rooms as we can. Five rooms, knock out weapons. Sounds good to me. Burn! The shields charge just slightly too fast. This particle beam has a slight delay when trying to fire. I really need to try to time this better. You knocked out some sensors. That's annoying. All right, let's try to hit those shields once again. I'm going to go ahead and hit his piloting as well as his oxygen and just knock those down so he can't dodge me anymore. And it looks like he ran away, which is a good sign. That is definitely a coffee bean. Look at that. Hey, you can't launch coffee at me. That's so rude. All right, his weapons are all down. That's a good sign. It means there's a lot of fire. He's just going to keep doing damage to me. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just kill him. All right, problem solved. Thank you. 39 scrap. I'll take it. We're up to 190. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. Okay, I'm going to continue on my intended path. A distress beacon this way. All right. Hopefully no more ion storms, if and you please. Thank you very much. Respond. Sure, there is a Zoltan shuttle. Ship is lost in Nebula. Offer scrap in return for favor, tracking lost ship. I agree. And there's a mercenary ship. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of repairs, because that's kind of why we built it that way. You've got a lot of weapons. If we can knock those out, I don't think there's much you can do. Pretty tight layout means that my particle beam should be able to hit four critical rooms kind of in a row. Don't feel that worried about it. But I do want to knock out these weapons, so let's try to get those out of the way. He's got bombs. He hit my oxygen. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and get some repairs going. Hit the shield. See if we can knock that down. We'll do a quick burst on, let's say, his weapons again. And in the meantime, particle beam, oxygen, shields, engines, weapons. Do this fast, and we can probably do a lot of damage. There we go. Alright. Oh, he had a breach. Well, hello. Uh, if we send the orchid, does it provide enough oxygen that we survive? I mean, maybe. I don't know. This guy should regenerate kind of on his own, right? That's sort of the entire point. Eh, regardless. Just keep doing this and we'll be fine. Hopefully he's cooking. I can't tell because we're in a nebula. And he cooked. That's 34 more scrap for me. Ooh, and we got a Battle Drone Mark II anti-personnel. Um, that's really good for repelling boarding parties if we do have um, drone control. I mean, I don't know. If we can buy drone control, that might be something worth buying. Um, that's a that's a pretty darn good defense, and boarding parties are a major hindrance to me at this point. We will destroy you, Federation scum. Okay. You say that, but, I mean, really, what are you going to do? He has cloning bays and teleporting. Well, I'm going to venture you into space and just do a bit of damage. He's going my med bay. That's fine. As long as you leave my other people alone so I can keep shooting, that'd be great. You've got an anti-ship battery. Darn it. All right, we need to burn this guy down instead. I was hoping that maybe we would be able to cook you, but it looks like you're not going to give me that opportunity. So we're just going to take out your shields as fast as we can. Let's go ahead and stop with the oxygen deprivation. Get in here. Um, particle gun. Yes. Let's hit all these rooms and try to get him to run away. That's a bunch of fires. If that doesn't encourage you to run over here, I don't know what's going to do it. I am a little concerned... That if he shoots me right here with the anti-ship battery, my orchid might die. That would be a disaster if so. Let's try to knock out his teleporting as well as his piloting so he can't dodge anymore. And now we should be able to finish him off. You've got to be kidding me. He did just kill my orchid. That's exactly where he shot. You've got to be kidding me. All right. Well, we just lost somebody. Um, that... that mm. 
Out of all the rooms that it randomly could have attacked, it did in fact go for the exact one that I did not want them to do and I just lost a crew member. That sucks! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Alright, well, goody. Um, can we please kill you now? I just want to get out. Now this thing's going to shoot me one more time, ain't it? Alright, 34 scrap is pretty good. Ow! Another big breach. Okay, we gotta repair this. We also gotta repair our, um, gotta repair our weapon systems. I'm gonna have to rearrange this. We're kind of back to only four crew members again. Good thing I got another one when we did. Uh, we got a little time to get this repaired before I run. It'll give me a warning when we're about to get shot again, and then we can just run for it. Just wanna have a second to repair these before I get into another hot situation. I really need my weapons up and running, you know? Okay, we got those at least, and then you go ahead and get out. You'll regenerate, so I'm not worried about you. We're gonna have you become my new weapons master, Mr. Slug. Even though you're really only good at shields. You know what? Actually, fees, I take I take that back. You work in the weapons. You're already good at shields. The human is going to gain skill faster. Since neither of you are good at weapons, we might as well put the human here. All right, we need to run because they've locked on. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, they missed. Well, thank God, because I was running away and not fast enough, apparently. Crystal Shard flies past. The Federation's only caused all kinds of trouble. Have I, though? Have I really? Because I feel like you guys have caused a heck of a lot more trouble than I've caused for you. Just saying. I'm trying to save you guys, and you're all being ungrateful. I don't like this mind control exists. I also don't like that you're all rocks, because you'll put out fires pretty quick, but... Alrighty, let's try to knock out those shields. Then we want to knock out the mind control, preferably before he can destroy... My, um... Before he can destroy my, uh, engines. Don't know if that'll work. See if we can knock out some weapons. He still fired off most of his crystal shards. And he did a little bit of damage, but it's not too bad. Half health. Okay. Well, he has no, um, he's got no shields at the moment, so I guess we might as well just burn his weapons and his piloting and stuff. There we go. That should take out quite a bit. Okay. Solid, solid. Um, let's hit his oxygen, and let's hit his weapons again. I want to keep these down. There we go. Don't you dare hit me. I'm not in the mood. And the rocks are broken apart. 40 more scrap for me. We're up to 308 going into this store. That's pretty good. If we find a cloaking module or something, I'm going to feel really happy. But drone control could work. Hello! What on earth? All right, hang on. Crystal Burst Mark II. So it's like the burst laser in that it takes two power for three shots. 16 second charge time is kind of a lot, but okay. Uh, shield piercing value. That could be kind of helpful. Breach chance, stun chance. Huh. Not too bad. Also, a crystal scatter. What is this? Fires a cluster of four crystalline projectiles that pierce one shield layer each. Three power for four shots. I'm guessing this is kind of like a flak. A crystal flak. Um. Well, I like flak, but one of the reasons flak one is so good is it only takes like one power for three shots. This is three power for four. Which I feel like is a little expensive given that I can only have so many... Um, power bars. I kind of want the Crystal bar uh, Burst Mark II. Two. two for three is still really solid. I can get rid of the Phase One in favor of this. I think this is worth it. Let's go ahead and buy that. All right. Now we can take a look. You got Mind Control, Drone Control, and Hacking. All of which are pretty good. Uh, let's see. A Manager Drone? What on earth is this? Interfaces with Systems. Level 2 skill. Oh, really? Okay. Defenders, blah, blah, blah. You got some more crew members. Honestly, wouldn't mind getting some more crew members right about now. Hacking's pretty good. Um, do we want this? Let's see. Anti-personnel drone. It requires three power. I don't want this for three power. That's too much. I have other things I need to do with this. We're going to sell you. We're going to sell the Phaser Mark I. It's been useful, but not useful enough. We're going to go ahead and install the crystal instead. I'll need to buy another bar of weapons. I do think we want hacking. And I kind of want to get another crew member. Just so I have somebody as a backup. And I'm thinking maybe this uh, crystal guy with some repair skill, just in case. Yeah, let's buy another crew member. And that will hopefully make up for the fact that we're kind of struggling on that front. I need to find another name. Hang on. It's going to be Laughing Core. Okay, so you're going to be kind of my backup crystal who manages the doors for now. But you also deal with any serious situations with boarding parties and you're on repair duty, which makes sense for me. Okay, so we need to buy another weapon bar. We talked about that. We can go ahead and get some extra power going. That takes up all of my scrap. But now we have a fair bit more firepower and actually with all of this, we can fire off seven shots and set fires. There's a chance that this is enough to win against the last fight. 
Not a great chance, but a chance. So let's be ready for that. Also hacking, of course. Let's not forget we have that as an option now using some drones. What I really need is cloaking. If we had cloaking, I feel like we would actually possibly have a game-winning combo right now. But without that, then I'm kind of relying on evasion and shields. So I still need to get as much scrap as possible. Uh, let's see, we got one, two, three. I don't think we can hit up this many extra points and still get to the exit, so it's time to start heading in that direction. Let's see if there's anything exciting. I'd still like to do some more repair if possible. You've got a couple weapons, you've got crew teleporters, but I don't think you're that much of a danger. I think we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of repairing, and I don't think I need to hack. Especially if you only have one shield bar. I mean, that's just... That's just nothing, dude. Uh, go ahead and hit my med bay. We'll take a single hole damage, but we can start venting you into space a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and preemptively start venting this area into space as well. Uh, let's see. We are going to... You got an ion gun. I don't even know if you can do any damage to me, to be honest. Well, let's go ahead and hit your shields and your oxygen. We missed a lot of stuff. All right. Let's try hitting the shields with the crystal beam. Okay, we did a little bit of damage there, and the particle beam will have to finish off the rest. And even without the ion, that still worked, and we cooked him out. All right, 39 more scrap for me. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get myself another power bar. It's okay to invest in this a little bit, because even if I'm not using the power for anything else, we get extra repair. But when it is time to go ahead and buy stuff, we have the power bars ready to go. So there's no real downside that I can think of to investing in it a little bit early. All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, med bay healed up, and then we can move on. Perfect. All right, let's head down toward the exit, I suppose. Not a whole lot more for me to do down here. What do we find? So we can explore the area, or we can check storage. Check storage of what? I don't know. We're going to explore. There's a civilian ship, or a pirate. I say we aid the civilians. Oh, look, you got some fun stuff over here. Okay. Um, Let's see. Your guns, I see a single beam weapon. I see drone control, but I don't see much else. No, wait, there's another weapon hidden right here. You might be able to do damage to me, but I think it's pretty minor. We're going to go ahead and repair a fair amount of hull using some of my extra power. I don't think we need to use the hacking module for this. What is this thing? I don't know, but it looks like it's going to shoot at me. It does. It fires an energy weapon. Fascinating. Okay, well, I think we'll be fine without this anyway. Who's worried? I'm not worried. Okay, I'm a little bit more worried. This thing apparently just knocks breaches everywhere. Yikes. Also, he's hitting my shields and stuff. This is a problem. Um, we need to knock out his drone control as well as his weapons and shields. Hit that first. Knock out those drones. Thank you. Okay, um, this is still not working great because we really need to get my shields back up. That's a lot of breaches, dude. Like, that's a lot of breaches. Although I'm pretty sure we're going to kill him regardless unless the fires can do so. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Didn't have a choice in the matter. The fires finished him off. All right, contact the civilians. Oh, we got a crew member who's good at engines. All right, a mantis. I'll take that, actually. That's great. Uh, we got a lot of repair to do, so stand by. Okay, we're all repaired, and I'm going to name our Mantis Odarka. Okay, so I think we're set and ready to go. Six crew members now, at least, is pretty decent. We're going to need, what is it, 120 scrap in order to get to my third shield barrier, plus some more power would be nice. Yeah, still got a bit of a ways to go on some of that, but all right. Let's go to the next sector, Rebel Territory. I have no choice in the matter. It's going to be more combat, but that sort of suits me just fine and dandy. All right, let's move on. Very high threat level. I like high threat rebels. Uh, persuade somebody to let me go. I will try. Can't fool me. All right, great. So we're in trouble anyway. Um, oh, wow, you've got a lot of guns. We're going to go ahead and repair only a small amount of hull, and I'm going to be making use of hacking this time around. You've got cloak as well, and lots of guns. Five guns? Is that what this is? This is an artillery gun, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, okay. All of a sudden, I feel like we really need to get up to three shield bars ASAP. He's got a lot he can use against me all at once. Let's get ready to knock out those shields with the hacking module. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. This is a little bit painful. Um, gonna try to time this so we can do as much damage to his weapon systems as possible, because he can fire off a lot right now. Holy crud. Let's go ahead and start the hack. Um, I don't know if burning this guy out is even an option, to be honest. Probably isn't, if I'm frank. Let's try to knock out those weapons. Hit the shields. Okay, we did a bit. Not enough, and now I don't have access to my particle gun anymore. He's got lots of breach chance. Uh, this is, this is proving to be a little bit unpleasant. This is a really nasty fight. That's a huge stinking ion gun that you've got set up over there, man. Huge. I wish I had cloaking. 
I wish I could see you if I have level three sensors and you're cloaked. I can see your weapons, but I can't actually shoot you? Freaking horrible is that? All right, let's go ahead and drain those shields down. Once again, knock out the weapons as quick as we can. Okay, we got down a lot of his weapons. It's not enough to completely save me, but it's enough to at least do something good. Still trying to repair these dang weapons. Yeah, we're, we're suddenly finding ourselves in a much, much more dangerous position, aren't we? Admittedly. Um, all right, he's calling for help. Of course he's calling for help from the ground. All right, yeah, we have to burn this guy down as fast as possible. This is only gonna get worse. This is only gonna get worse. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and begin the hack as soon as you are done with... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I figured it was gonna stop until um, after his cloak was done. I was wrong. All right, so we just wasted a hack there, but I think it's all right. I hope it's all right. Uh, level three shields, man. I have ways to get through it. I just don't have ways to time it all very nicely. Let's get the particle beam back up and running. Yeah, I need to fire everything we got all at once. I also need to get rid of this uh, artillery. It scares me a lot. Okay, fire all of this off. Fire these and try to hit his cloak. Let's stop him from avoiding me. There we go. Missed the artillery. There's now a very good chance he can hurt me in a big way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Ah, I thought getting rid of that cloak was going to work, but it didn't work. This is the artillery, by the way. The uh, ion is the artillery, so... That's all he's doing to me. Let's go ahead and hack him. And fire everything I got. This should finish him off. Alright, we took a lot of damage. This bodes very poorly for this next sector. Very poorly. Do something on board the ship. We might as well do another salvage mission. Find 19 more scrap. Alright. And once again, I have a lot of repairing to do. So at this point, we could get the extra bar of shields if I'm willing to turn off the hacking module. Which I think I kind of am. Um, I don't suppose there's a store nearby. Not that we know of. Hmm. I think it's probably worth just going ahead and getting the extra bar of shields right now to defend myself. Since we're only down to nine hull. That means there's a good chance of us dying soon. So I want to be ready for that. Okay, let's explore the rest of this sector and see what's going on. Uh, more autonomous scouts. Alright, that means the particle beam won't do me a lot of good. I can't afford to do anything with repair bots. And you've got a scary looking red cloak. Alright. And lots of guns. It sure as heck seems like these guys have lots of weapons. You know what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn off the oxygen. And we're going to launch... Let's see, wait. What kind of drone do you even have? I don't know. Let's go ahead and launch the hacking module and hope it works. It didn't. Okay, this thing is an anti-drone. Never mind. I was hoping we could go ahead and knock out his shields, but we cannot. I need to hit his weapons with everything we've got at this point. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that hurts. All right, hit everything we got at his weapons. Knock that down. Okay. One weapon we can deal with. We can deal with that. Let's go ahead and get our oxygen back on. And he did four damage, but hopefully he can't do any more from here. Okay, it wants to surrender. Um, not going to let him because I think we can get more out of the arrangement. Uh, we can't cook him exactly. He's a drone, so it doesn't really matter. He was trying to escape. We knocked out his engines, and now he's done. Okay, so what do we get out of that? 29 scrap. We can also salvage some extra drone parts. One drone parts. That makes up for the one that we wasted. That's not great. Um, let's get some more power. Uh, I can use it for some repairs and or some extra evasion chance. We're in trouble here, actually. We're in a lot of trouble here. I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard, but... They have so many guns on them these days. Do we want to use the hacking here? Yeah. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Launch it at their shields, I guess. Those are a couple of big-looking guns, but they take a long time to charge. We might be able to simply knock you out before you're a threat. Let's vent these guys into space. Let's go ahead and preemptively start venting all of this into space. And all of this into space, because no matter where he goes, I want to be ready for him. And let's go ahead and knock out the shields, followed by weapons and shields. If we can knock all that down and maybe cook this guy, that'd be great. With three shield bars, I feel like we've got a pretty good chance at being able to survive whatever he's shooting at me. He fires three bursts. Okay. Good to know that that's a thing. We're all right so far, though. Only one of these weapons we can contend with. He's now trying to fight me. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and fight you here. I'm pretty sure we can win that trade. And we want to cook him, so let's do this. Take out the oxygen and some shields. Set a lot of fires. He had to run away. That's what we wanted to see. All right, that's a lot of fire. Their last guy was not going to last. There we go, 48 scrap. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. A store, rebel store. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for me? Either way, I could really use some repairs, and I'm willing to spend some scrap to do that so I have a chance at living. 
Rebel engineers aren't always as aggressive as they other rebels. Um, they're looking to scrap for repairing their auto ships. I agree with that. Uh, you are willing to sell some drones I don't need. We're just going to shop instead. You do have mind control, as well as a clone bay and a crew teleporter. Plus, you have some big guns. What is this? A Volge Beam. Five power? Holy crud, but it does four hull damage each shot per room? Jesus, dude. This is a really big gun. Better than a Glaive Beam. Adaptive Laser, increasing its damage with every two volleys shot. That's an interesting way to play it. And also a Particle Accelerator Mark I. One. one power, three shots with a radius and fire. What? Cannot do hull or crew damage, but does heavy system damage. So as fun as that would be, I don't think... Well, I'm kind of wondering if this is better than the Particle Beam because it charges faster so I can use it more. Probably not. I think the Particle Beam is still better, but it's an interesting idea. Yeah, all cool. Um, none of which are stuff that I think I really need right now. What we're going to do is just some simple fixing. I'm going to spend uh, at least to get us up to this point, and we'll save 20 scrap from there. Thank you, Rebels, for once you guys are my friends. Uh, we can only make a handful of jumps. How do we get to this exit? If we go down this way, we can head up toward the exit safely, I think. All right, let's go over here. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. I mean, these weapons are good, but they take a long time to charge. And that's proving to be a little bit of a problem. I think I kind of need this hacking module still. Wait, what is this? Let me guess, that's going to shoot down my drone, isn't it? Let's try to send the hack. Yep, it's going to shoot it. All right. It almost always is some sort of defense drone that actually can shoot down missiles and stuff, but it includes the drones, which is really irritating. Let's just go ahead and increase my evasion chance. Um, all right, so you got lots of shields and lots of guns. So what I'd like to do, then, is probably burst down your shields as hard as possible, use the Particle Beam, which doesn't do hull damage, but definitely can knock out some systems. And... Actually, you know what? We're gonna fire at the shields, and then one thing is gonna be dedicated to the piloting in case you try to escape. And then Particle Beam... Hit the weapons and the drones and stuff. There we go. Now we can't do nearly as much damage. Okay, I think that worked. So I think we just saved ourselves from taking any more hits. That's good. There we go. He's out. All right. That was a good fight. And 36 scrap. We can also use hacking to hack into the rebel station. Okay, let's do that. And we've delayed him by a jump. Well worth it. Well worth it. Uh, what is this? I don't want to deal with anti-ship batteries. I really, really don't. We also learn more about this entire area, and there are a lot of enemy ships to contend with. I could head down toward the distress beacon, but if we go this direction at all, I'm going to have to deal with the anti-ship batteries, which I'd really rather not do. Let's go to the Distressed Store, see if there's anything of excitement over here. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it appears to be a small market under attack. We are going to rescue the store. And once again, we are going to... I don't have any power. Where did I lose a power bar? Am I crazy? Where did I lose a power bar? Oh, right, the engines. Haha, -ha, yes, okay. Let's see if we can knock out these shields. He's going to send some people over to my ship. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start preemptively venting a lot of these areas. He's trying to get into my sensor room. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you to help fight. I'm pretty sure that a mantis and a rock can handle this. Pretty sure. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and start knocking out his shields. And we are going to fire the burst and a crystal, plus we are going to try to hit his weapons as soon as we can. We managed to burn a lot of stuff. Let's hit his oxygen as well as his shields and his engines. There we go. There we go. Fires. All right. Maybe we can actually cook this guy out. It's been a little while since we can do that, but I need the extra scrap for the love of God. Good Lord. That is a lot of fire. It is spreading out of freaking control. Look at this go. Holy crud. All right, we need to take out the clone bay because I don't want him um, bringing anybody back. We also want to knock out the doors so the fires can spread more readily and the crew teleporter so he can't come back over here. So none of his guys are going to come back now that he's dying. And yeah, he's trying to deal with fires, but look, they just keep spreading into the rooms and killing him. Dude, this is working out great. This is amazing. In fact, I can just go ahead and shoot you and I'll kill this person. There we go. See? 50 scrap. Hey! Also... The store is happy. What do we get? Crew teleporter? No. Clone bay? No. I think it would still be better to continue focusing on upgrades for my actual ship. I'm gonna buy a couple more power bars. We need a lot of scrap to get to level 4 shields. But these extra power bars are gonna let me start doing some repairs. 
And we could go for a longer hack, which knocks out longer shields. So I think that's going to be worth it. Um, if I go down here, we will have to go a long way before I can get to the exit. This is irritating. There's no great way to get to this exit without going through this close to a nearby sun. Ugh. All right. No, that's fine. Let's just keep exploring. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. We found a crew. Um, you've only got two levels of shields. Uh, a flushed and panicky rebel soldier has teleported aboard. The rebel who appears unarmed repeatedly declares his peaceful intentions. It seems the rebel life has lost its charm. <sighs> I, I will accept your proposal. Dang it. All right. He was deceptive. I was kind of worried that that might be a trap of some sort. He didn't get anybody killed. We're okay. But yeah, that was a negative event. Fine, fine, fine. I didn't even have a chance to use my repair option. All right, we're going to increase the power of the hack, and we'll increase the power of my dodge once we get this upgraded. You're going to pay for that, just so you know. It's just the extra rebel fleet jump chance means that we don't have a lot of time left in this sector. Which is probably for the best. This video is running a little bit long as is, isn't it? There's a lot to do in this. There's really a lot. Let's go ahead and knock out those weapons. You got some big, scary-looking missiles that I don't like. In fact, I really want to hit this as fast as we can. Okay, got it. Thank you. Um, now we got to wait for some shields to go down before I can use this particle beam. I might be able to cook this guy out. I think I probably could. If I can hit these shields right now. There we go. And with the oxygen gone, you are very dead. All right, that worked. 49 more scrap for me. Damn you. Yeah, well, you tried to deceive me. I mean, didn't try. You succeeded in deceiving me, but no one can know. What I really need badly right now is cloaking. If I could get cloaking, I think we actually would have a very good chance of winning the game right now. So you are going to be approaching very rapidly. We can hit one, maybe two more areas. An asteroid field can work to my advantage, actually, in helping to burn down their shields at the right time for the particle beam. Another autonomous vessel. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and activate some repair, but I'm going to keep as much of this hacking as possible. He's trying to run away immediately. That's irritating. All right, but you have no defensive drones, so I think we can knock out your shields. And as long as the particle beam or something can take out the piloting, then you aren't going to be going much of anywhere anytime soon. Now, are you, buddy? And the good news is your drones are doing very little. Let's go ahead and start hacking this down. I want to knock out his weapons, preferably before he can do any damage. That failed miserably. All right, let's just go ahead and hit this with the crystal. There we go. He still has bombs, but I'm hoping that he can't do a lot against me there. Okay, took him out. He managed to do a little bit more damage to the hacking system, but not that bad. Only 19 scrap? Wow, I feel like I should have gotten a lot more than that. That's really disappointing, actually. Okay. We can make one more jump in the asteroid field. This is going to be a little risky, but I think it's probably worth the attempt. Uh, Another automated scout. Okay, but you have a lot of guns, but you're not that bad. I think you're going to be fine. Do you want to do some repair bots? Yes. I think we will spend two reactor power. And we're going to lose engines? No. Get some engines back online. Let's try to be ready to knock out his shields. His shields should be going down pretty passively, like, all the time. Like, this should be pretty easy. If I can knock out his weapons, we'll be in a really good spot. The burst lasers will do it, too. Let's go ahead and hack him down and fire everything I got. Okay, that's most of his weapons out of the way. Let's go ahead and try to hit some more. There we go. All right, so now he's zero threat. This fight should be a cakewalk for me. He wants to surrender. I don't need fuel, and 22 scraps not enough. Now he is dead. Okay, so we walk away with 20 scrap. Really? Man, we're just not getting anything out of this, are we? These, these auto ships are turning out to be um, pretty pathetic. They don't have a lot to offer. All right, let's get to the exit. Just in time, we might have one last fight to deal with over here. We can explore the area. Uh, there's a beacon home to the rebel checkpoint. They're stopping and searching any ship that passes through. Civilians are being harassed. We can fend for ourselves, attack, and escape. We can stay out of the way, or we can bribe them to release the civilians, and maybe the civilians will give me something. I'd rather just fight, and we'll defend the civilians that away. Repair bots, do your thing! You've only got two levels of shields, so I think we can repair a fair bit here. Four hull, all right. Let's go ahead and try to knock out those shields. You got a really big, scary-looking gun, but I think we'll be able to handle that, and for some reason, you teleported directly into my airlock. Never a smart play. Never, never, never the way you want to do things, buddy. Ah, darn it. The fires actually killed him before I could do anything. Fine. 29 more scrap. We're not getting nearly as much scrap as we should be at this stage of the game. I feel like we're supposed to be getting something closer to 40. On the plus side, though, we are getting pretty close to being able to afford our next bar of shields. 
Don't know if I'm going to invest a scrap in it right now, but a couple more fights like that and we can get it to level 4 shields before we get to Sector 5. Alright, good place to end this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.